Oh, it actually turned out good. <laughs> hey guys. So today's tutorial is actually not a makeup look for once. <laughs> it is a hair tutorial. So I show you guys how I get this hair look. Since you guys have been requesting it for a while now, you've been asking me to show you how I achieve this hair look with the hair tutorial, so I am delivering. I hope you guys enjoy. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Ah, I'm so excited for you guys. Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a hair tutorial since you guys have been requesting me to do that updo thing. So basically all I've done so far is straightened my hair. I just find it's easier to maneuver when my hair is straight, it doesn't get all sticky and it doesn't like look messy. And so once I've straightened it, I'm going to start separating it. So like I don't really be too perfect about it. I basically just you know do the best I can from what I can see. So once I've separated my hair into about two even pieces, I just clip this side to make sure that I don't use any of those pieces on this side, like I won't go and grab it. So then I grab my hair and I leave the front bit so I like to kind of pull bits out to use later and I'll also pull the back bits out as well and I brush this out just so that it's neater like so then all I do is I separate it into three even ish even ish pieces I usually let this part just kind of drop in the middle there. So then I start to braid it. So you want to keep it quite tight to your hair, like I'm doing here. I'm just braiding it down. So once I've braided it, I grab a clear elastic band you guys don't have to use clear. I do recommend clear though, because it high. It's not obvious. Like if you do have a normal elastic band, you can see it. So I do recommend clear. If you're doing this, I mean I've done it with a black elastic, like these elastics, but you can still see it. I mean like you can try and hide it at the top, but it's just easier. I go through and I brush this side again, and I basically just repeat. Okay, so once you've got your little plaits. We're going to whip them up. So I've got my little bobby pins ready. So make sure you've got your little bobby pins at hand so you can grab them when you need. So this is like the important bit guys. When you whip up your hair, don't just bring it up from the front. You want to actually bend it from the behind if that makes sense. Ooh. So you want to go back this way and bring it up this way. Like flay hun. So I'm just going to bobby pin the ends of the plait. Just so I can find it. Sorry, I'm using the viewfinder right now, guys. It's so much harder than a mirror. So I don't bin it, but a bin it. I don't bobby pin it too tight because I'm just gonna bobby pin this back bit in a little bit. So I go back in with as many bobby pins as I feel necessary, and I just go along and bobby pin the like end of the braid down. Don't worry about hiding these ones because we're just gonna bring this braid up over the top. But I just like to secure secure it in. I like to use black ones especially, like black bobby pins. And I'll go in and bobby pin this braid part usually as well, just to secure it down. I like to, sorry my arm's getting in the way, I like to secure it down as much as possible. And then what I do is I bring up this one the same way, so I've gone from the behind up and I cross it over that elastic here. So I usually like to, to hide at least one elastic. I mean, you can hide both of them by not bobby pinning this front part and just bobby pinning it here and using the hair here to hide this, if you get what I mean, but that's not my style. I just don't be bothered to do that. I don't, mean, I don't really care about the clear elastics, but if that's you, like if you like to hide them, then you do you boo. So I go in and bobby pin the ends of the braid to the top of my head. And I'm more strategic with my bobby pins because this is the top layer. So I kind of weave them in amongst the hair to try and hide them. 
so that they're not so obvious. And this is kind of like a, you know, throw it up kind of thing. It's not meant to look super neat. That's why I have all the little dangly bits to curl after. Next, I'm just going to boy pin this part of the braid that's sticking out. I like to boy pin it to the back of my head. So I go in and I just boy pin where I feel necessary into the back of my head. Make sure it's nice and secure. And I like to kind of sit it over my ear. If you like it behind, then you do that, but I like it over. Kind of hiding the top of my ear. And I might boy pin this back bit there. So there we have the braids up. We are getting snappy in here. So I'm going to actually curl these extra bits. You can leave them out and straight if you like. I do do that sometimes, but I do prefer them curled. So I'm going to use my MUK curling stick and it comes woo. It comes with three ones and I use the middle one. Sometimes I'll mix it up if I want bigger curls, smaller curls, that kind of thing, but I kind of just want the usual, the regular kind of normal curls and as it like heats up you guys can apply a heat protectant if you want I already applied it to my hair when I was straightening it so I don't bother doing it again but I mean if you want to you can so with the wand I like to start with the back of my hair first so with all these little dangly bits here so I just grab them in sections I don't do a whole big one curl I like to have a few little ones just looks more undone so I'll curl some Oh, I don't want to burn myself. Let me see if I can get you in the shot. I'll just curl the ends of it, if you can see. I'm going to just move over. And I'll hold it there for a few seconds. And let go. And I've just got my little kind of loose undone curl. And I go through... I'll chuck that one behind. I'll do this part. And I'll curl some away from my face, some close to my face, depending on kind of what I'm going for. Hold it there for a few seconds. And let it go. And I kind of just put my fingers through it, wind it up a little bit, do my kind of thing. Chuck it behind, go to the next piece. Some curl away, some curl towards. I'll make sure though when I get to the very front piece of my hair. So when I get to this bit I always curl it away from my face just because I feel like that looks the best on me. So I'm just curling this front piece away from my face. And there we go, we have all our little curled pieces. On that side so I'll just repeat on this side. Then I just pull it apart a little bit. I put my fingers through the curls to kind of separate them a little bit, make them look a little more undone. Then I'll just go in and set my hair with some setting spray, just the curls to keep them in place so that they don't drop too much during the day or you know when I'm wearing it. I'm just going in with this BO5 Mega Hold one. You guys can use whatever setting spray you have at home. So I like to just hold up the curls and give it a good spray. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look. I re makeup look my thing. So this wraps up today's hair tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you do want to see other hair tutorials that I've done in the past or you have any requests that you'd like me to do, let me know and I'll see if I can actually do it. I'm not the biggest hair champ in saying like I'm not the best, like you know, I'm not that great with hair but there are some styles that I can do. So if you would like to see any other hair tutorials from me, just let me know and I can show you ones that I can do. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.